Okay, so this is where I get into the spoilers. I personally love that there is no explanation. I, you know, you don't know who put them there. You don't know where they are. You don't know when they are. No, it's, it just. I think that that's absolutely perfect. I um. I think any it's, they they uh, they mentioned that on the commentary track. Any explanation would have been a letdown. It's not. I there's this extremely irritating notion that everything has to be explained today. No, it doesn't. That's that's boring. It's not as interesting. That's you know, that's part of why literature by many is said to be the the superior medium because that forces you to use your own imagination. The ending and the overall, you know, it, it, the film forces you to use your imagination and that's a bit of a lost art. That I mean, apart from you know, you have to almost go back to Hitchcock before that. I mean, there are some um, still working with that, but it's just too rare. Way too often, it just you know it's explained away. You know, a, a dream or it was you know the, the it was all in this person's dying moments. You know, didn't they make like two Hellraisers where? Two of the Hellraiser sequels have the twist be that, you know, oh, it was in the dying moments, he was in hell all along. It's it's up to the individual viewer to decide what is outside the, um, the cube, and who put them there, why. I, I, I read on IMDb that uh, the, the director apparently shot uh, this short film that showed what was outside the cube, and he since um, destroyed that footage, and... I think that's absolutely perfect. I, I would not want any, not even the director, to come and say, this is for sure what's outside the cube, this is the group that put them there, this is why they're there. No, just we shouldn't know. I also thought it was uh, fantastic how um, the, the ambiguity, I mean, you, you can uh, see it as, a, as an allegory. Uh, I think it is infinitely more interesting to see how these people behave when in this situation and the, these realistic people, these credible characters, rather than, you know, some guy with a knife stalking a bunch of uh, slutty teenagers. I, I was a little bit disappointed maybe by it kind of turning into a little bit of a slasher flick there at the end with um, Quentin showing up and stabbing her with the handle. Um, it just, it, it wasn't... I kind of did figure that might happen uh, with him being left and just how did he make, make it through all those rooms with traps? How did he know exactly where to go? how it just... but that was also the only part of the ending that really bothered me. It did not bother me that they died. That that was so unexpected. I really thought, okay, these three are gonna make it out for sure, and then it just happens, she gets stabbed, and then the, the guy, it's just... that that was really... and, and it winds up being uh, Kazan, I think they pronounce it, probably the least likely candidate. I mean, you when you first see him, it just like automatically you think at the back of your head, he's never gonna make it out of, out of there alive. It and then when you know when the elevator went down just you thought, oh he's a goner and then you know when when they say, Oh, he's close, we could still get him you think, No, no, no then you're just gonna die too. It's just that was very effective, and then him just walking into just bright white light, that was fantastic. I like that uh, in the end, the, the the characters are more dangerous, the, the people there are more dangerous than the traps, you know, they, there's only really like two people killed by traps, the, um, uh, the, the escape artist uh, with acid in the face, and then the guy at the beginning with the, um, cubes. Um, that Paul W. S. Anderson ripped off. The, 
you know, apart from that, just the people are all killed by each other. I like that it kind of didn't really promote any one moral, it just kind of had some ideas and none of them were really proven or disproven. Um, and and how you know the the theories you know at, at first I guess they were just lucky that they survived um, and didn't because you know her first theory was actually wrong that you know kind of science wasn't right right off the bat you know that that was um, you know I, maybe I'm reading too much into it um, but you know that kind of you know we don't always know all the facts before we pass judgment before we think that we've figured it out um, and also that it was sort of you know only with only through teamwork could they really get you know they they needed um, you know without Quentin there you know nobody else really had the determination to just go and just keep going without um, I mix up the two uh, girls' names constantly. I don't remember the, the mathematician. Without her, you know, they wouldn't have been able to figure out the pattern. Without the um, uh, the autistic guy, Kazan, they would not have um, been able to determine if the rooms were safe once they figured out exactly how to um, determine that. I also would say that there wasn't a single character that you could just like write out um, I mean I suppose maybe that guy um, uh, the the first guy that dies with the the cubes I suppose that wasn't critical to the film but it does it does kind of set up this place is, def is definitely dangerous and um, But yeah, you know, all of them had some purpose, had something, you know, you, you couldn't cut them out without losing some of the, the group dynamic. I thought it did a really good job of mixing in, just a, sprinkling in some humor um, in between all the tension and, um, you know, it, it never got to, it without it ever becoming, like, outright funny as such, you were never like laughing, but it it took some of the tension off and um, that was definitely something that needed to happen and it did. I, I think that I think the film hits that balance really, really well. Um, it was never too dark and it, it was never downright depressing um, in spite of being tragic and it was never like funny. But yeah, I, I love the concept. I think uh, they did a pretty good job of executing it. Um, also, considering they weren't like you know professionals, they weren't hugely experienced. And I really think it's this kind of thing that keeps you know the various genres fresh. When you take something just never seen before, never I think. It didn't remind me of any other movie apart from maybe like Lord of the Flies or something, but you know, and and it actually takes that, you know, that that concept, the the, you know, focus on group dynamics and what happens the you know with the miniature uh, and creating a miniature society, and again, I think that's infinitely more interesting than some specified force chasing or chasing and trying to kill some group that you probably don't care about as has been the trend with recent uh, horror films. Yeah, that's it. See you next time.